The Rachni Queen. That information was... removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend Anavaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. <laughs> Alright, that was interesting, to say the least. Galactic News. Where can we listen to that at? Okay, we're not going to continue listening to that. Um, can we talk to the Sasari now? Pardon me, I'm on a no, you've been on a car f uh, a call for a while now. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anything else? Hello. Holy crap. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Oh, what should I say here? Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Huh, last time I... There's nothing in there. All right, let's uh, go ahead and read her notes. All right, Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk to her? Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? All right. <laughs> uh, let's. We'll do that in a second. Let's browse this. For the best tech upgrades you have. All right, so we can buy some of this stuff. Squad bonus: thirty percent biotic damage. Omni tool doubles the time limit for bypass. And we have plenty of creds, we could always get this stuff. Yeah, let's get that. Mindy Joe increased by three. Let's get this. Why not? I mean we have so much money. Does it really matter? Let's talk to the merchant. We probably could have got a Welcome. discount, damn it. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. 
Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. All right, will do. And sadly, we bought everything after we got uh, our, uh, you know, our discount. But that stuff should help out. Um, hopefully we get it. It's not like something that we have to browse. Let's go back to the table and talk to her real fast, though. Oh, sweet. So it looks like it doesn't. we don't have to invest in that. We just automatically get it since we bought it. All right, let's talk. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. I think that's it. Let's go and say it. it's good to see him, and we'll get out of here. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Oh yeah, I just got a kiss. Can I take my helmet off? I'm like, do I really need a helmet on? We just got some experience and some other stuff. So we'll go that way in a second. We're gonna continue going this way and seeing what's the rest, what's over here. I want something that says, "I own this room. I own you." Okay, we're gonna go up here. I <laughs> we'll explore everything at some points. Open door. What's in here? Some more galactic news. Oh yeah, I, I was the one that did that slave broker. Let's talk to her. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go now. We prefer the term indentured servant, and I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. 
Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the glory? I don't keep service. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Alright, so we gotta go talk to some, some, someone. <laughs> and, um, get her free. Let's go and let's join this bachelor party. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. <laughs> you said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. But my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... Limber. <laughs> I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but... I don't have... Feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I'd fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay. You see that bit there? A the little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them. And you're going to be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Solarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. You don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. <laughs> You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. I wonder how long this can go on for. This is kind of funny. I still don't see why we're here. Solarians oh, that's do it. not get married. My family simply negotiated a Let's talk to the bartender. Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athena, Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Thanks for telling me. Alright, we're gonna end it right here. For, Just looking around. Right. I'm trying to, and then we're gonna come back and talk to her because I need to end it. So when we come back, we'll talk to her about the rest. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a good one.